Coming up, I'm gonna show you how I built this, a leather SCBA cover for a firefighter's mask. So stick around. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little bit more simpler. I was asked to make a leather shield for a firefighter's SCBA mask because the lenses get scuffed up really easily from going from the locker to the truck to a run, back to the truck, etc. The idea is by putting a leather sheet over top of it, then what's getting scuffed up is the leather itself and the leather protects the lens when it's getting banged around. So the first thing I did was to come up with a pattern. I used this pattern to trace onto a nine ounce piece of veg tan leather with my awl and cut it out with a sharp knife. After I cut it all out, I realigned the pattern and marked the holes where the shock cord will go through to hold the cover to the mask. I then went ahead and beveled both sides of the leather and burnished the edges lightly using water. I taped the entire back with painter's tape to help keep the leather stiff while tooling. And when I remove it, it will actually remove some of the flesh and leave a soft, fresh flesh side to go against the mask. I then wet a small area and let it dry a bit and using my arbor press, I pressed in my maker's mark. He gave me his vehicle's logo and I added his name. I then printed it out and placed it on the leather where I thought it should go. From there, I took my time and slowly traced the intricate logo through the paper onto the leather. After that, I cased the leather by getting it all wet and letting it dry back to its natural color. I used a swivel knife to cut in the design I just traced. Next, I use various tooling stamps and a mallet to emboss the design in the leather. Once all the tooling was done, I pulled out my black dye and used it a little like paint and started on the background. Then I used several acrylic leather paints to paint the remainder of the logo. Once the logo was painted, I stained the remaining leather and let it dry. I added a coat of tan coat to the entire shield as a resist and let it dry. This is so it would seal the main areas and keep the antiquing from turning everything brown. Next, I used antiquing gel and thoroughly covered the entire shield, then wiped off the excess leaving the gel in the cracks to accent the lines. After the antiquing dried, I added two more coats of tan coat to seal the entire piece. I removed the painter's tape, and as you can see, it leaves a fresh, soft, fleshy side to go against the mask. I used beeswax I get from a local beekeeper and burnished all the edges. Then I cut two pieces of shock cord. I put the cord through the holes and tied an overhead knot about two inches away, then did a test fit. Then about two inches further down, I tied another overhand knot and cut the ends. These knots will act as handles for the cord. Then I seared the ends to keep them from unraveling. So there you have it. This was my solution on how to help this firefighter protect his SCBA mask from getting scuffed. I'm the OCD Hunter and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.